Hi, in this video I'll be taking a look at a new 48 color bargain set that was recently added to Amazon. I like to try inexpensive sets that make good gifts for kids or student artists, and this one had some unique things going for it. For absolute beginners that don't already have any brushes or heavyweight paper, this set makes it possible to swatch and test the paints right out of the box. Though for artwork, I would definitely recommend picking up a pad of paper made specifically for watercolor, such as the low-cost cellulose paper called Canson XL. I also have a few higher quality brush recommendations that I'll put in the description section below. The paint itself is nice for the low cost, averaging about 50 cents a color. It puts it in the same price range as the popular set known as Pretty Excellent by the same company that makes Paul Rubens. If you already have the Pretty Excellent set, this one may still be worth checking out because it's quite different in color selection. Like most bargain style, low price tag, big color selection sets like this, there are no pigment ingredients disclosed and it should be assumed that some colors are fugitive. This set is aimed at kids and beginners and at this time is priced accordingly so I was prepared to see some opacity and dye based colors less common in pro grade paints. It includes a variety of pastels and convenience colors, which are aimed at new artists who may not be comfortable with doing a lot of color mixing. There are a few opaque colors, including an actually useful white that is strong enough to be used for highlights instead of a white gel pen. While about half of the colors are at least semi-opaque, it's important to note that these are not chalky. There is no issue with the binder quality, the colors adhere to the paper well and do not rub off after dry like a chalk pastel. The opaque colors use a high quality, finely ground white pigment. It's also not like gouache where the pigments are matte and chunky. These pigment particles are thin enough that all the colors lay down smoothly without grit or streaky textures like some lower quality sets out there. There are also six beautiful metallic colors made with glittering mica pigments that have a gorgeous shimmer. It's not common to find metallic colors mixed into a set like this, and it really improves its versatility. Because of the amount of convenience mixtures in this set, it's not really made for mixing additional colors. This is because there are already so many pigments in these mixes, allowing you to just immediately paint, that when you start to try to mix them together further, you run a higher risk of making muddy, overcomplicated colors. Though there are a few clean, single pigment options that I was able to mix to create vibrant secondary colors. There are four browns with a good range of dark burnt umber to lighter peach, allowing for skin and hair colors with no mixing needed. I was also impressed with the greens, and I could see this set being really good for crafters and card makers coloring botanical rubber stamp art. The way these colors flow or disperse, as well as how they have a strong texture reaction to salt, is very nice and comparable to higher quality watercolors. Many of the colors are semi-transparent, and when diluted are quite acceptable for layering and working over line art without obscuring your pencil or ink marks. A few of the more opaque colors, like the teal, white, and metallics, can be used for their covering power to go on top of other colors or show up on dark papers. Overall, I think this set is a good option for young artists or those on a budget looking to use some inexpensive paints for sketchbook practice or card making. The metallic colors are really quite nice even compared to expensive brands like Fine Tech or Polero. Because of that and the nice tin palette container, I could see more experienced artists being tempted by this set, especially if the current sale price is still low. I noticed the metallic colors are liquid poured, so they look a bit different and uneven in the pans compared to the extruded, baked, and cut style standard colors. All of the colors rewet well, but like most student grade paints, they are definitely easier to work with if you mist them with water a minute before use. I have a few more bargain type set reviews coming up and a few older ones on my channel if you're looking to see some pros and cons of similar sets. I recently tried the See Me Art Jam Halo and Superior's Master 48 pan set and this was much nicer than the other ones. They all had suffered from a gritty large pigment particle problem making their paints streaky in comparison to the smooth application of these paints. So I definitely advise caution when shopping for gifts like this because there are definitely more bad sets than good ones out there. 
Because professional grade paint sets of this size often go for 5 to 10 times the price, it's easy to be tempted to try these instead. Part of that is the feeling of being able to play with your paints without worrying about being wasteful, but also because these large sets can feel luxurious, like a big box of assorted goodies compared to a small 12 pan set or just two tubes of individual pro grade paint that you can get for the same price. That being said, pro grade paints definitely have their place, and you'll find that I use both for different types of projects and for achieving different effects. I'm currently working on going through each major brand of paint and pointing out which pigments they carry that are unique to help share which colors I think are worth the investment. I'd love to hear your thoughts on using pro, student, or kids bargain grade paints. And if you have a mixed collection or only use one quality type, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to see more, you can find all of my detailed swatch card images, results from my independent light fast testing, and other art supply reviews on my website. I'm currently building a huge pigment database where thousands of colors can be compared side by side with paint from other brands. Updates about this project, along with line art drawings and high res color scans, are also available on Patreon. Thanks for watching.